Now there are a few phrases and words that I'd like you to use um, to be a little bit more positive with any type of situation that may come up, whether it's you know something that's a patient complaint or even if you're just scheduling a patient. Um, so some of the things that we like to use frequently are great news. Um, we like to say yes as much as possible versus no. Um, and then let me see what I can do for you. So same thing that we had discussed earlier, if there's a request made that is totally not doable or you know you think is just off the wall, let me see what I can do for you is more um, positive and then we can come to some type of resolution um, or agreement with the patient at that point. Um, now just to give you a little bit of an example of when we can use um, some of these phrases, so if you're scheduling a patient and they're telling you, you know, I really need to get in at, on Tuesday at 3 o'clock. And you look at the schedule, at 3 o'clock, every single person is full. There's nothing even around that time. You know, maybe the closest thing we have on Tuesday is 11 o'clock in the morning. So instead of telling the patient, oh, you know, I'm so sorry, we don't have that appointment available, That's it's full in the afternoon, or, you know, unfortunately, 3 o'clock is booked up, I'd rather you put a positive spin on it and say, you know what, great news, I actually have an 11 o'clock available on Tuesday. Will that work for you? And just by doing it that way, it, it puts a positive um, angle on what you're talking about. So even if you're not giving the patient exactly what they want, at least it's, it's phrased differently to make them feel like, you know, okay, they're, they're doing what they can for me. Now, <clears throat> Obviously, saying yes as much as possible definitely is a positive thing. Everyone likes to hear yes when they're asking a question. Um, so, you know, as as patients make requests and ask things, you're either going to say yes and you you can do them for them and you can, you know, accommodate that patient or you're going to have to say, let me see what I can do for you. And then from there, um, you know, especially as you're learning in the beginning, you'll you'll have to come to the back and get, get a little bit of guidance on specific situations. But as you get more comfortable at the front desk and you, you know, kind of learn the, the ways of the system here, then you'll be able to figure that out for yourself pretty easily.